So that is uh, actually this is the continuation of the previous question. That is for each mole of H2O uh, entering the reaction uh, uh, chamber, there's only 0.222 mole of H2O leaving. So for the rest is converted. Hence, therefore, the fraction of water vapor that is dissociated into the hydrogen and oxygen when heated to 4,000 Kelvin uh, is uh, a fraction of dissociation 1 minus x equals 1 minus 0 0.222 equals 0 0.778. Hence, it's 77.8% conversion if you heat it up to 4,000 Kelvin. Kind of expensive way of doing it, but it's, it's a possible way of doing it. Uh, the temperature dependence of equilibrium constant K depends on the delta H and the standard enthalpy change of a fraction. And the delta H may be calculated from the standard enthalpy of, and this is the actual lecture, the enthalpy of the formation for each species, delta H of formation, just like delta G. Hence, delta H equals VI HI equals VI delta H F. I. So you saw how VI relates to each species now from the previous question. Hence, the enthalpies of formation are usually listed at 298.15, so you can actually calculate uh, the delta H of an entire reaction based on the uh, enthalpy of formation from your steam tables. This is useful. Uh, the Enthalpy change of formation for an element is zero, and all the terms on so because you can't really make an element. Uh, all the terms of well, technically you can, but uh, all the terms on the right hand side depends only on the re reaction temperature delta H, and only depends on the temp uh, on the temperature. Uh, like delta G, delta H also has units of joule per mole. Uh, However, just like delta G, the per mole is per mole of a reaction to find the heat uh, effect of J multiplied by epsilon. Um, let's try one more question. 